Hey YouTube, so um, I know I did one fairly recently, but since I've gotten so many new um, animals, I thought I'd do a whole entire new my collection, so this is my animal collection. So I'm going to start with my bearded dragons. We're going to do flame. Flame is, hasn't, I don't have much to say about her, um, except that she's just had a lot more problems since, um, the last video on her, her eye always crusts over every morning, so I have to help her get that off. Um, she probably has eggs, because she has prolapses every time she poops. And, uh, yeah, she's not doing too great. And yes, I do take her to the vet, but there's only so much you can do, and I, I'm trying everything I can. She gets a multivitamin supplement every single day. Um, she just gets everything, like bulk to see if like it'll help. Um the prolapses have stopped. Um she hasn't she uh she's like uh, pooped without a prolapse. So she, I think she might have uh, reabsorbed her eggs. But yeah, that's her. And her colors are doing phenomenal. Um there's like lots of purples. As you can see this is like natural daylight. Uh there's lots of purples and stuff. She's so pretty. Oh my god, she's so gorgeous. And uh let's put her back in. So that's this flame. And there's her under artificial light. I'm going to put her back in. There you go, girl. And she's on wee wee pads, so if she has a prolapse, the sand doesn't get into her. So that's her. Next we have Cornelius, who really, really wants to come out today anyway. Um, not much to say about her either. Not much has changed, but she's going to come out so you can see all of her colors. Um, there we go. She's a little bit more brown than Flame. Flame is definitely my most beautiful beardy, but, uh, Cornelius definitely has some color to him. Uh, she has some nice yellows on her head. And, uh, right now, uh, I'm a little bit worried about her because, uh, she might be just going into cremation. But she's, you know, declined in her appetite, but, you know, it is basically time for cremation. It's February. That can still happen, you know. It just depends on the beardy. So yeah, that's her. Not much to say about her, except she's really fat, and she's really happy, and she's cute. <laughs> so that's Cornelius. And I know it looks like I don't handle them right, but I'm only using one hand, and so it's like kind of hard to handle them exactly right with one hand. So yeah, those are the two animals in here. And they have their own little name tags, Flame and Cornelius. And then I put the bearded dragon and their scientific name. So now let's go to the next beardy. So there's a, um, I don't know if he's going to let me take him out today. He is a little crazy um, when it comes to taking him out. Let's see. As you can see I'm using my dominant hand because he's crazy. Like I actually like I'm sometimes afraid I'm going to drop him. So here he is in some natural light. Um, He's beautiful too. Um, sorry, it's out of focus. There we go. Um, he's beautiful too. Um, he just has like a little bit darker tone of stuff. When he's in his mating colors, though, if you can watch in my older videos of Rose's mating colors, he's gorgeous when he like gets all horny. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's Rosa. And he's definitely a boy. Um, he was mixed sex as a baby. All my bearded dragons basically were, but. Um, fe females, uh, by females, all, um, are proven females, and he's definitely a male, because his Kokala looks a lot different than my two females, so I almost just dropped him, because he jumped out of my hands. So that's Rosa, um, he's kind of crazy, so I'm just gonna grab him, and, uh, do not tell me I handle him wrong, because he's freaking crazy, and I can't not grab him like that. So yeah, that's Rosa. Um, as again, I said he's crazy. He has a little name tag that says his name and uh, his scientific name. Now we're going to move on to the frogs. We're going to stay right here near the cage, but um, I guess I can give you a little update on them. Um, here we go. Perfect. Here's Flibbit. He's uh, gained a couple grams since uh, you last seen him. I think he gained like... 15 grams. As you can see his fat ridge is getting a little bit fatter because I started feeding him a little bit separately because Pops over there, who's a total fatty, gets all the food. 
There's Cups. Cups is so cute. Um, but that's Cups and Flibbit. Uh, <laughs> Flibbit's always brown and Cups is always green. And uh, I guess that's how it is. Um, they're both really cool frogs. And they're both male, actually. Um, that's the cool part about them. They don't uh, mate, so I'm not going to have any more <laughs> little white tree frogs because I don't plan on breeding uh, these white tree frogs. Unless I ever get um, some cool morph like the albino, and then I'd make some cool head albinos and make more albinos. So, yeah, those are my two frogs. And here we go, here's their name tag Cups, because he's always green, and then Flibbit, because he's always brown. White's tree frog. <laughs> and that's their scientific name. Um, now we're just going to move quickly onto my gecko. Sorry for the mess, this is the old salad. For Beardy. So, uh, my gecko in here. I moved him into this tank, uh, I think, like, two weeks ago when I got my carpet python. Because, obviously, a leopard gecko does not need a 40-gallon cage. <laughs> like, it's very nice to him, but he does not need it, and I don't have the space. So, he has gotten a bit fatter. Um, remember, he was somebody else's pet, and he was not taken very good care of. But, uh, we're gonna take him to the natural light. So, here he is, um... He's a uh, pretty cool, uh, pretty good pet. You know, he doesn't move much, but that's basically what leopard geckos are. They're not very exciting pets if you ever think about getting one. Um, like, just beware, like, they can get a little boring, but I love mine, and uh, he's awesome. And uh, I've actually had to postpone the whole breeding project I had because turns out he has pinworms, so I have to get rid of those before I start breeding. And uh, I want to get some sun glows and a couple snows, probably. And I'll probably put them into a much bigger cage together. Sorry for my finger right there. So I'm going to put him right back. He doesn't really like being out because he's a gecko. He's crazy. <laughs> there he is. So I'm just going to grab him like that. Come here, dude. There we go. He is a little bit crazy because I don't handle him much because... I don't know, I'm just not that, like, interested in handling him. I just kind of like him being in his cage and watching him hunt. So I'm going to give him back his hide. And yeah, there he is. And uh, Leopard Gecko and his scientific name. And his name, Midnight. Now we're going to move on to the snakes. Um, first I'm going to do a corn snake. We're going to do Kodak. She's probably going to be the most antsy. Out of all the three I have. So this is Kodak. She's my corn snake. She's an albino with um patternless. She doesn't really have any pattern except for like a faint one. So I'm going to try to get her onto my bed. If I can't, I'm sorry. But she's, she's like awesome. But she's kind of like a handful for one hand. <laughs> okay, here we go. So now we're going to get her onto my bed. That's Kodak. Um, <laughs> see, I like she has a very faint pattern. She's beautiful and she's such a sweetheart. Like she's not crazy at all. She's um, she makes such a cool pet and like, she comes out like every day with me, and she's so fun. Like I love taking her out. She's such a sweetheart. She's great with kids. You know, kids can pet her and sometimes hold her if they're nice. And yeah, she's just an awesome pet. Like I love corns. In fact, I hope and when, if I find starch, they'll breed. Because starch was a motley and she's an albino. And they'll make some pretty cool babies. Um, of course, albino is. Uh, wouldn't show up in the babies, but they'd definitely be het. So that'd be pretty cool. Now she's going under my blanket. And yeah, so that's Kodak. Um, again, not much to say about her. Because, you know, you guys have seen her recently, but... There's her under the artificial light. She's beautiful. She actually did just shed, so this is her best colors. And yeah, that's Kodak. We're going to put her back in. And she hasn't grown much. I think she's only about four and a half feet long. <laughs> and there she is. We're going to put her back in. Now we're going to move on to Paisley, um, the ball python that I got, I think, in November. 
from somebody who like did not know how to take care of any snakes basically. But uh, she's awesome. So here's Paisley. I think you guys have seen her very recently because I did a Paisley update, but she's gotten huge. There's her in the natural light. Um, she's really balled up today. I don't know why she's like really defensive, but she's usually a sweetheart and like doesn't usually ball up with me, but not much to say about her. She's such a sweetheart. They, she's an awesome pet too. I really just like snakes. Uh, they're really awesome. And she is a yellow belly, I found out. Uh, <laughs> she's so awesome. I, I can't believe someone could not want her because she is like the best pet ever. And she has grown, if you check out my uh, Paisley update video, our ball python update video, you can see how much she's really grown since I got her. And yeah, so that's about her. Um, she's really cute. And um, we're going to put her back. Oh. There we go. So there she is. And uh, she's an awesome ball python, and she also has the little name tag, just like any other animal I have. So there she goes. There's her basking spot, and there's her cool spot. And so she, I guess she just feels a little hot today, so there's her. And finally, we have my carpet python, who probably is going to be a little bit weird with me, so I'm going to bring out a snake hook, just in case. He did uh, get me the other day when I was feeding him. He, uh... Got me. Not that bad. Um, I don't think you can even see it on camera. Just those little dots. Just little, all those little dots for little bites. Like little teeth. But I, it was just a feeding error. It wasn't her fault. So I'm going to take this branch out before I get her out. Because she always like twists up on the branch and stuff. And so um, there's that branch. And I'm going to take it out and put it right there and uh, let's get her out this will be fun yes I'm aware she could still strike at me but it's just I feel better getting the body before I get her so here she is she is um, a jungle carpet python She's absolutely gorgeous. Um, she, this is her natural light, so I'm not playing with any colors and stuff. She's she's absolutely beautiful. She's actually pretty sweet. Uh, she uh, is a little bit jumpy, though. And if she does bite me right now, just do understand it's probably because she doesn't want to be handled. But she but after she eats and stuff, she's really nice. Like, after, like, probably two days after she eats, she's really nice. But then she gets really jumpy. <laughs> after she's hungry so she likes being handled not put down and stuff so that's her in the light and then that's her in artificial light she's so beautiful that's a this is her um i just named her right now for a frowny face cuz a little frown on her head but i hope to come up with cool names i am not accepting names cuz i kind of want to come up with it so and also i don't even know the sex of the animal so yeah, so we're going to put her back because this video is like really long. And uh, yeah, it's my carpet python. Thanks guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, this is my animal update video on every single one of my animals. Peace. Um, I would say peace here. I'll let her on the ground. Peace. And uh, subscribe. And have a good day everybody.